Hello. Well, today I am going to be talking to you about ergonomics. And ergonomics is one of my favorite topics within computer science. Many people tend to ignore that, but the fact is that we are surrounded by technology. And uh, we need to learn to live with technology, to use technology without being harmed by technology. And nowadays we see that there is a lot of people getting injured by technology. So how does that happen? Let's begin. To begin with, let's take a look at what ergonomics is all about. Well, ergonomics is about people's efficiency or how well people fit within their working environment. Well, having said that, is that you have a working environment and you're not gonna come as a stranger, as a human, to come and sit in here and see how you're gonna adapt to whatever is surrounding you. The fact is, is that whenever things are made for human consumption or use, they are made thinking on the specifics of the human body. Namely, like that we have, you know, five fingers, that we have an opposing thumb, that we have two eyes, the way we sit, everything, everything in us, the length of our neck, the distance between here to here, for example, when we're talking about building a new or designing a new telephone, you know, all those things uh, are very important. So when technology is built, it's built to fit you, but you need also to know how to use it and how to fit within the technology. Let's continue. So, as I said, you know, let's take a look at some things that we know and how we use them, okay? So let's take a look at the table. For example, when you sit at the table, whenever you're gonna go and buy a dinner table, you never find that the dinner table is way too low for your, your chairs to go in, right? They are usually, you know, high enough for you to be able to sit comfortably within your chair and your legs fit under it. Right? It is a certain standard that goes uh, depending the length of your leg, how tall that table is gonna be. If you have a hammer, which was the second example, they are not gonna make the, you know, the part where you hold it, they are not gonna make it too big or too skinny because it's to apply some force. So it needs to be at a certain way that most human beings will be able to hold it comfortably and hit something hard. Same goes with the cup. It's made for you to put either one or two fingers and be able to lift the cup, you know, with the handle. So all of those things we see around and we assume, oh yeah, they are there, but you know what? Think about it. And sometimes when you see, for example, cups, that's a good example, you may think, oh, I can drink from this cup or this cup is a child's, it's for a child, right? So it will be a little different. It's a different size. You know, the place where you put your fingers is not just as big. But people, when they are designing, they take into consideration how the human body, you know, the average human body, that is. Let's continue. So, in computer science, we're talking about how we actually set up our environment. To begin with, you know, now we have monitors that probably will help me see better because they have better resolution, but I need to keep my monitor at eye level to make it better for me, you know, for, for my eyes and for my neck. You know, the chair, whenever I get a chair, it has to be a comfortable chair that will allow me, you know, allow my back to stick to it, you know, in the back so I can rest it, I can, I can be okay with my back, and my feet need to touch the floor. They cannot be dangling or they cannot be uh, extended to the front. They have to, the chair has to match my body. Then we have lighting, you know, we need to make sure that we have enough light. Otherwise, we will not feel it at the time, but our eyes will be feeling from strain, you know, they are gonna get tired. And then when you type, your mouse, your keyboard and everything must be at the same level, okay? So your chair is, has to match exactly your body. But wait a minute, I told you that everything is just average. And maybe you're not average, maybe you're slightly taller or 
you know, or your torso is bigger than your legs, you know, like that, and then the average person. But that's why most chairs that you see in offices, they can adjust. If you look at the side, there is some levers that you can move, you know, and adjust so that you can adjust your back, you know, the, the height of, you know, the chair itself where you sit and everything so that you can make it comfortable. Make sure that you're comfortable. And it's not like, oh yeah, you're so conceited, you wanna be all comfy. No, you have to be comfortable because the body that you have is the only body that you own and you need to take very good care of it. Mostly if you're gonna spend quite a few hours of your day, let's, your day, let's say eight, six or eight hours in front of the computer, you need to take care of your body, okay? Let's continue. So how will we do that, okay? We're gonna save ourselves. So for this, we're gonna avoid the following things. You know, we're gonna try to avoid eye strain and headache. Of course, nobody likes that, right? For that is that we need to have good lighting, right? And that I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little rule after this slide. Another thing that we're gonna be doing is avoiding back and neck pain, and I'll tell you how you can do that as well. We're gonna try to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome and of course, we're gonna try to prevent RSI, which is the repetitive strain injury. Okay, so uh, in regards to the eye strain and headache, I'll wait a little bit because I have something special for that. <clears throat> Let's talk about the back pain and the neck, okay? When you're sitting, I'm sitting in the computer, you don't do this or this. We tend to do this because we're looking at the monitor, right? So we're like, so you see the curve here, you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure your back is resting and that your monitor is at eye level. So it is like this, so you don't need to do this or this, but you keep your spine in neutral position. That will save your back and it will save your neck, okay? Speaking of carpal tunnel syndrome, I am gonna tell you that is when, because of the use of our keyboard or our mouse, you know? So if you have them aligned in a way where your hands, you see, 90 degree angle, I can have my mouse right in here, my keyboard right in here, right? So this is the perfect way to do it. If you have something different, you know, a different, then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have your wrist either like this or like this, and that is gonna produce pain in here. Not for the first 20 years, but later you will have it, and it's not gonna go away easy. So you have to ve take very good care of yourself. Um, one other thing that I have to recommend in regards to this, just get some spe special keyboards, you know, like the ones that we see, he we saw here within our tech of the day, right? Take care, you know, look at those keyboards, look at that, those different kinds of mice that can help you, but something more important, become ambidextrous. Use one hand and the other, have two mice in your computer, yeah? It's overkill, right? But you know what? You're dividing that work you don't have just one hand to work and click and do all the clicks you have two so sometimes you use one hand sometimes you use the other that has saved me i have been working with computers longer than you want to know and my hands are perfect because i use both my hands and i use different kind of mice as well okay so if you keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over you're gonna get injured, it doesn't matter what it is, but you're gonna get injured for that, and that is what we call an RSI, or a repetitive strain injury. Let's continue. So, I told you about uh, that to avoid eye strain and headache, right? So here is the 20-20-20 rule, okay? So, follow this rule. Number one, every 20 minutes, you're gonna spend 20 seconds looking at something that it's at the very least 20 feet away, okay? Now, your eyes, if you don't do that, your eyes are looking at something that is right here and it's just this distance for many hours during the day, many, many hours, okay? Now, if every 20 minutes you have a timer or something, you just get up, actually it will help you to stretch a little bit, you know, love your body, and then you can get out of your office and look at, Look at the fog, I don't know. Look at something out there. Look at Diamond Head, you know. Check out what's out there. The rail, something, you know. 
get out there, look at it for 20 seconds, you come back in, you're gonna save your eyes. It's gonna be much better, it's gonna help you a lot. It seems funny, you know, the, the hard part about this is that it's every 20 minutes. So you will definitely need a timer because when you're working, you're having so much fun that time flies, right? Let's, let's continue. So how about mobile devices? They are really causing issues in here. We have, for example, tablets, right? And they can cause burn if people put them in their laps and they just keep them in there and they work from there. Many have been reported. And the hand position during typing. This one is especially important. If, when you have a small keyboard like this, like a small keyboard, your hands tend to be like this. You see what is the, the position of my hands? I have this angle in here, you know. My hand goes from here to the front. This angle that I have here is really bad for you. So if you are gonna be typing in a laptop, make it, put it far away so that you have your hands like this and you type like this. Therefore, the, you know, you, you're not bending your wrist to the side. That is very important, so let's continue. Tablets, guys, please. There is a lot of pain caused by tablets because people use them in a bad position, meaning that they are like this, hunch over, and they have the tablet in here, the hand hurts, the head hurts, so make sure that you're following the same thing, you know, the same principle, rest, be with your back on, and if you can, put a little pillow so that you don't have your hand holding the tablet, okay? Let's continue. And smartphones, you know, there is several things in here. You may experience BlackBerry thumb, you may experience eye strain, and that's because the device is small, or even hearing loss. Why is that? Well, BlackBerry thumb is this. Whenever you are texting, do not text and hold the phone with the same hand. A lot of people do this. You can't be doing that. Hold your phone and text with the other hand. You will save yourself from RSI, repetitive strain injury. Then the eye strain, obviously, it's very small um, a screen. And the hearing loss is because people listen to their music in their uh, tablets or mobile phones and they put it too loud. Once your ears get damaged, then there is no reverse to that. You know, you, you, you just won't be able to hear. You're gonna be 25, 30 years old and you won't have good hearing, you know, the sense of hearing, it's gonna be gone. So please take care of yourself, you know, take care of your body because you only have one. See you around.